What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. I have absolutely no idea why I just threw little Clorox off our roof. I'm just super bored because like quarantine and stuff. I literally have absolutely no idea what to do. But yeah, rest in peace little Clorox's arm. <laughs> but I'm gonna come down there to you guys real quick. guys so today's video is definitely gonna be pretty interesting because again i'm super bored because of quarantine and wait yo i almost forgot my mask i gotta make sure i wear this to stay safe protected protected but yeah we're gonna try to find something to yo let me just take this phone call real quick i haven't talked to anybody in literally like 16 months because of quarantine Hello? Hello? You want my credit card information? Yo, anything to talk to anybody on the outside world? Uh, yeah, my credit card number is 32976. You stupid. Alright, no, for real, guys. We seriously are just gonna run around and do some super random stuff for today's beginning part of the video. And if you guys don't want to see the beginning part of the video, then you guys can skip to the time up right here on the screen, and that'll take you to the main part of today's video. Like, the part you guys clicked on this video for in the first place. A few moments later. Alright, so it is now time to eat a snack, because I'm getting pretty hungry, and I'm trying to eat super healthy, so we're gonna eat this orange. Uh, Right. Didn't you eat like 14 Doritos Locos Tacos from Taco Bell yesterday? Uh, random stuff? No, I did not. Why you always lying? But yeah, for real, I'm gonna use this weight to open up this orange. That way I can start eating it. But I'm also gonna need the van as well, so let me bring it out here. What? So I opened up the side door in the van and put my stuff inside, and then I opened up the driver door, went inside, started the engine, and started driving in reverse. You know what? I'm so bored that I'm just gonna drive around our whole pond backwards. So after I spotted that random kid in our pond, I continued to drive backwards in the van, and then I climbed out of the van and got on top of the roof. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is drop this 20 pound weight on top of this orange, again, so that we can open it up so that I can eat it. Eat. Now I gotta use my precise accuracy skills to make sure that I hit the orange first try. Eat. I missed. Eat. Name is John C. First try. First try. All right, so the orange got absolutely destroyed whenever I dropped the weight on it. And uh, I definitely can't eat anything from that piece. But wait a minute. Oh, there's some nice juicy orange right here. Let's see how it tastes. That's good. All right, the next thing we're going to be doing is some hula hoop trick shots, like throwing the hula hoop onto Rex. Oh, hello there. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Dang it. Even though I missed my first try, I was determined to make this trick shot no matter what, so I kept on going over and over and over again. Two thousand years later. <laughs> Alright, well I guess that trick shot's good enough. We ended up landing on the pool and not around wreck. But we literally sat here for like two hours trying to get that shot. But if this video gets two thousand likes or more, then we will keep on doing the hula hoop rex trick shot until we make it. All right, but guys, I just realized that I took my mask off. So I gotta go into quarantine for like three weeks. What? Later. Yo, what is up, Tord fam, and welcome to today's main part of the video. Now, guys, in today's main part of the video, what we're gonna be doing is, is actually trying to capture Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog in real life. And this is actually part two, because if you don't remember, in this video right here, which was our last video, we actually tried to capture him as well. But unfortunately, if you guys watch that video, you know that our trap did not work. But for the last couple of days, I've been putting my research in to try to find the best possible way for me to be able to capture Sonic. And I think that this time, I have a little bit better of an idea, and I'm pretty sure that this trap will work like no matter what but i guess we are about to find out now one thing that i figured out during my research is that one of sonic's weaknesses is actually water we're gonna use water as part of today's trap i'll show you guys whenever we go to create the trap on how we will use water to help us now first thing we're gonna do is go into the shed to try to find the materials that we need oh uh, yeah this looks dangerous Yo, okay, so we could actually use this right here. Like, this shovel is definitely an essential for what we're trying to build. Yo, and guys, check this out. I actually used this tote in the past before to set out traps to capture other things before. So we could probably use this as well. And oh my gosh, check out what's inside of it. The blue strap. Now, I think this might be the strap that we used in our last video, or it's the least one that looks just like it. We might use it again as well, even though it didn't work last time. But I think all this stuff right here might be all that we actually need. So let's take you guys back to the spot to where we're going to be setting the trap up at and go ahead and make it. 
thousand years later. Okay, so here's like the last place that we set our trap out for Sonic at. It was just like right back over here. So I don't know. I think we might actually set the trap up in a little bit of a different place this time. Because if we set it up in the same exact spot, then Sonic might expect it to actually be a trap. So let's actually set it up in the first place that we first saw Sonic at, which is just right there at that tree. Come on, let's go. All right, I'm going to full send it. I'm going for the 300 meter jump. What? Yes, let's go. Okay, so right around here is actually the first place that we saw Sonic at. We're going to go ahead and place the trap right here. First thing I'm going to do is set the box upside down like that. And then I'm going to actually dig a trench around the whole entire tote. Yo, that worm though. Don't worry, fish. I got you, fam. I got you, fam. So I worked super hard digging this trench, one scoop at a time, but I realized that it was literally gonna like take forever. 12 o'clock midnight. All right, so I just finished digging this moat right here and I even made a bridge and I'm gonna show you guys how that bridge is gonna work here in a moment, right after we fill this thing up with water. So I used the tote to scoop water out of our creek and then I dumped it into the trench and I kept on doing so until it was completely full of water. Alright, so as you guys can now see, the trenches are completely full of water, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we're gonna take the tote and we're gonna put it down right here in the center of the trenches. And then now we gotta get like a stick or something to prop the tote up. Good thing I leave one in my back pocket. Alright, so we're gonna prop the tote up just like this. And then we'll take the bait, like the thing that we're gonna use to lure Sonic into the trap with. And then hopefully what'll happen is, is that since Sonic's weakness is water and he doesn't like it, he won't be able to get into the side of the trap right here, or otherwise he may fall into the trenches full of water. What he's gonna have to do is He's gonna have to go across this bridge right here and then whenever he does he'll run straight into this stick and Then whenever he hits it It'll fall on top of him trapping him inside and I guess we actually didn't need the toe strap So uh peace out to that thing I'm dying. But yeah, let's just wait and see what happens Wait, Tori, you never put anything down there to lure him into the trap. Oh, yeah guys random stuff's right I did forget to grab the thing that we're gonna use to lure him into the trap with No, I think the thing that I'm actually gonna use is gonna be like another hot dog or like a chili dog or whatever because that's what we used in our last video and it worked really well. Only last time I only used a plain hot dog and it still worked and Sonic's favorite thing is actually chili dogs. So I guess I need to like run to the store really quick and buy some chili and hot dogs and stuff. It's getting super dark and like creepy and stuff out here so we will come back out here tomorrow morning to finish setting this trap up like whenever I have a hot dog and stuff. So peace out until then. The next day. What's up guys, it is now the next day and I just got back from the store and I went and got the most highest quality hot dogs that I could possibly find from the dollar store. What? And yeah, we gotta be super careful with this stuff so we don't damage any of it. But all right, for real, let's head over here to the trap and set this hot dog up. Okay, so like I just said, we literally just got back from the store and we picked up these hot dog buns, these hot dogs, and this chili so that we can make a chili cheese dog, which again is Sonic's favorite according to the internet. All right, so let's go ahead and make this real quick. That's good. All right, so now we gotta open the beans up. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Man, I can't believe my super strong manly muscles can't open up this chili. Guess I'm just gonna have to throw it at something. Yeah. Wow. wow, that surprisingly actually worked. Behold my specialty chili dog. There's absolutely no way that he can resist not eating this thing. So again, we're just gonna set this down here to hopefully lure Sonic into the trap with. And since that's his most favorite thing to eat, there's almost no way that he can resist. Now, I also am going to set the Slipknot up inside of the trap as well. So that hopefully, if we do end up capturing Sonic, he, like, gets wrapped up in this so that whenever we lift up the box, he can't zoom out. So we have the Slipknot right there. And we're just going to set it in here. And he'll probably step in that eventually if he gets caught underneath the toe. Okay, but anyways, guys, for real, it is now time to wait. I guess we'll come back out here in, like, a couple of hours or something to check on the trap to see if we've captured Sonic or not. But I'm going to go cook me some hot dogs or something as well because I'm pretty hungry and it's, like, lunchtime. But, yeah, I guess I will see you guys later whenever we come back out here later all right guys so it's been a couple of hours now and i'm now extremely fat because i ate like 43 hot dogs but it is time to go check on the trap to see if we have captured sonic i really hope that we did but there's only one way to find out so let's head out there right now and of course we're gonna take the beautiful luxurious van perfect So I hopped inside of the van and I started my engine and I headed off over to the trap. Okay, so we're now really close to the trap. Let's head out here and check on it. Okay, it's about 30 meters away according to my calculations and observations. Let's see if we can get a good bird's eye view. Oh 
Oh my god. Yo, guys. It looks like the trap actually has like fallen over. Yo, we have to go over there right now because since it's fallen over, there could be something inside of it. And maybe it's Sonic. Come on. Guys, check it out. Remember how the stick was propping the trap up? It's literally fallen over now. That means that something had to have knocked it over. All right, here goes the moment we've all waited for. We're gonna see what's underneath the trap right now. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Do it! Yo! No way! Look! We literally just captured Sonic! And he wasn't able to run off because he got caught up in this toe strap. I'm gonna keep him wrapped up in it so he can't go anywhere. But no way! We finally did it! Look! We captured Sonic the Hedgehog in real life! And I don't see that chili dog anywhere, so he must have ate all of it. Guys, we have to hurry up and get him, like, back up to our house so he does not escape this strap and get away. But I can't believe it, guys! We finally did it! Yes! Let's go! Now, one weird thing is that Sonic is a little bit smaller than I thought he would actually be in real life. So just go in the comment section down below right now and let me know what you guys think about all this like why do you think sonic's so small do you think this is just what he looks like in real life or do you think that this is like a different sonic or something all right but i don't know anyways we got to get him back inside like i said before he like tries to escape this toe strap or something and he like gets away so yeah i will see you guys in the next video again let us know what you guys want us to do in our next video like should we try to open sonic up or what do you think it is that we should try to do next and i will be reading your guys's comments so we have an idea of what to do next i just still can't believe that we actually got him guys no way but i will see you guys next time on a brand new video with TORG aka that one random ginger peace out dang it